So as of just a few weeks ago, Apple announced its brand new high yield savings account for anyone currently using the Apple Card. And this savings account has a current APY of 4.15%, which is honestly a lot higher than I thought it would be. And what's crazy is within the first five days of opening this feature, Apple saw a billion dollars in deposits, which goes to show how popular this new feature is. But before we get into the Apple savings account, let's first talk a little bit about the Apple Card, since this really only applies to those who already use the Apple Card or are planning to because, well, that's really the only way to use the Apple savings account. The Apple Card is a simple credit card issued by Goldman Sachs, and it's really easy to set up. All you need is an iPhone to apply, and you set it up through the Wallet app on your iPhone or directly from the Apple website. And when it comes to the Apple Card rewards, you get 3% back on Apple products that you buy, like red apples or green apples, or even the apples to apples game. <laughs> and you'll get 2% back on everything else. But that 2% back on everything else only works if you're able to use Apple Pay on your iPhone. So if a store doesn't accept Apple Pay, you can still use your physical Apple card since it's really just a MasterCard, but you only get 1% back on everything else when you use that physical card. So really up to you to decide whether or not you think the Apple card is worth it for your everyday purchases, but you do need to be an Apple Card user in order to have access to the new high yield savings account. And if you don't know how to apply for the Apple Card, you'll find it in the Wallet app on your iPhone. And then once you're in the Wallet app, in the top right corner, you'll tap the little plus sign and under available cards, you'll see that it says apply for Apple Card. And the application process only took me about three or four minutes. So now that we've covered the Apple Card, let's dive more into the high yield savings account. Just like the Apple credit card, the savings account is issued by Goldman Sachs. And as you might already know, Goldman Sachs is one of the biggest banks in the world. So the money in this account is completely FDIC insured. And like I mentioned earlier, it's paying a 4.15% APY with no fees, no minimum deposits, and no minimum balance requirements. And what's cool about this account is any cash back you get from purchases gets put directly into the savings account and immediately starts compounding every day. You can also add money into the account from another bank. So if you wanted to, you could put $5,000 into the Apple savings account and start earning that over 4% APY on the money, since there's essentially no limit to the daily cash earned. One person on Reddit said, if you have $25,000 into the Apple savings account, every year you get 4.15% APY, that's a little over $1,000, and get an iPhone for free every year. I think what they mean by this is technically if you were to put $25,000 into the Apple savings account each year, you'd make enough in interest to essentially pay for a brand new iPhone. So the iPhone wouldn't necessarily be free, but the interest earned each year would be paying for it. Another Redditor said, I just opened my account and everything went smooth. I transferred all of my daily cash that I'd been collecting for years over to it. And I also transferred some money from an external bank account into the savings account. Both transfers were instant, and now I have a nice little pile of cash in my savings account, earning a decent interest rate. This new Apple Wallet feature gets two thumbs up from me. So a very seamless way to start earning extra cash in the high yield savings account. Now keep in mind though that this is an online savings account only, so when you do need to withdraw any money, you'll have to transfer it into an external bank account where you typically have to wait a few business days. And even though that 4.15% APY is really high, there are some online banks that offer a slightly higher APY like CIT Bank or SoFi Bank, but anything over 4% is still pretty impressive. So I think Apple's high yield savings account is definitely worth it if you're someone who only uses Apple products and really enjoys using the Apple Card and Apple Pay. But honestly, if you're not doing any of those things, there's definitely other options out there when it comes to online savings accounts. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are regarding Apple's high yield savings account. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if you thought it was helpful, and I'll see you next time.